he would get angry very easily. So you kissed the red flag. Yeah. Oh no. Are you guys in a relationship? No, we're just no. friends. We're just okay. Friends. Yeah. She's so. My ex. Okay, I've got a friend circle. We've got like some people in our friend circle that have like dated each other. Now they're dating other people. Yeah. yeah. It's cool when you can be like still friends, right? Yeah. Just because you did them before doesn't mean you still want to do them. Yeah. Do you guys ever come across people who don't understand how you can stay friends? Yes. Yeah, I have a lot of guys that like don't want to be with me because I'm like friends with exes. Right. And it's like, that's how is that fair? Because like for me, I believe that if you're like had a good relationship with your ex, you just remain friends. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Yeah. For example, my first marriage, we became platonic before we divorced. That's why we divorced. We were sleeping in separate rooms. We had sex like six times a year because we forced it. Sometimes a breakup is a formality. Yeah. 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 So I'm a life coach. I can do life coaching, career coaching. So any, any relationship things you might want to make better between you and anybody? I've been looking for a relationship, but most yeah. of the times people that I've hook up with and just want to have sex and a lot of times and especially on dating sites yeah like a lot of them are just like oh or like if i'm seeing someone a lot of times they they rush the relationship right i wanted to see how it what it was going we weren't like official but like we we're just like trying to figure out how things work yeah. and the person instantly said like i love you and i have romantic feelings for you and i'm like well i just like started like seeing that person for like couple days and then the person said oh i love you and i was kind of like okay that's kind of creepy Unless so, you're soon, yeah. do you want a dating strategy because i'm good at that sure it's my whole stack what i teach people how to do when they're dating to find a long-term partner is use a no kissing for three months dating rule oh, okay yeah, so yeah. no kissing no sex no sleepovers no exclusivity for minimum that's three a, months that's a good idea the people who get like all in all at once you put the training wheels on the bike and you're like, you, you say, of course, of course you find me lovable. I mean, look at me. Yeah. Of course. That's a really good idea. And you say to them, I like you and I want to see where this goes. Yeah. I'm using a no kissing for three months dating role because I like you enough to see if we can actually yeah. make this work before we start a relationship yeah. so that we understand before we start that yeah. we're actually a good fit yeah. so that when we start the relationship, there's no insecurity. Yeah, because yeah. we've taken the time to figure out that we're a good fit and you got to observe me and you saw over three months that I actually found you more interesting than anybody else. So yeah. you're not going to vomit insecurity on me. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, that's uh, I've been in relationships that sometimes the relationships just ru rush too fast. Yeah. And then so I've been when you set a guideline. The insecure ones, the insecure, impulsive ones yeah. say, I can't wait three months to be kissed. You have to validate me just based on my body. Yeah. But if you're looking for character and integrity and personality yeah. and attraction comes, you know, like it'll, if it's there, it's going to stay if it's real. Yeah. yeah. Then you're like, of course we find each other attractive. Let's yeah. make sure we're a good fit. Here's three months to the first kiss. And because you set a calendar date, the brain relaxes. Yeah, that's just because really if you good know idea. what kind of pain you're facing, yeah. it's easier to take the pain. Yeah. Well, one of the partners I was with, he passed away. Okay. I broke up with him before he passed away. We dated for like almost three years. He pretty much was very controlling and he mm. got in a huge fight with my family. Right. You know who you get rid of when you use a no kissing for three months dating rule? Controlling people. Yeah. Because they can't control you. You're in control of your environment. You're yeah. in control of who you're going to touch. You're in control of who you give exclusivity to. Yeah. And you, you don't let, let them rush the timeline. Yeah. People it, who are really controlling get frustrated. They he had out. a lot of anger yeah. issues. Yeah. Uh, he, had, he would smash things and like, he would like throw things and like, it got to a point that he was like, I don't want you hanging out with your family. Like, I don't want right. you hanging out with your siblings. I don't want you dealing with your family at all. Like he said, you, he the one day he said to me, he was like, you have to pick who, your family or me. Mm -hmm. Did you kiss him before you knew he was like this? Well, I knew him for, before we were dating, I knew him for a long time. I knew him. So is that a, yeah. Is that, you knew he was like that and then you kissed him and started a relationship? I knew that he had anger issues, okay. but from being around with him, I used to work with him. So yeah. 
he would get angry very easily. So you kissed the red flag. Yeah. Oh no. No more kissing red flags, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna use a no kissing for three months dating role? I'm probably gonna do that, like for now, like and like yeah. no like sex because like like in relationships, like a lot of times, like I'm being honest, like mm -hmm. a lot of time I the second date we have like sex. Yeah. But like But then you fall for them. Yeah. And that's yeah. why you keep allowing the red flags because you yeah. have feelings for them. So when you yeah. do no kissing, no sex, no sleepovers, no exclusivity, yeah, yeah. you see who's too impatient, who's too impulsive, who's too controlling. You get rid of those ones yourself. Yeah. And well, then yeah. you let your feelings develop for the right person instead of falling for the wrong one. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. give you my dating book that's going to teach you how to use this methodology. It's written woman to woman, but just just jimmy it in your mind so this is going to teach you how to put the training wheels on the bike when you're dating okay so that you don't pick another person who has anger issues okay that's good no more anger issues so how much is this it's free because okay. you're letting me do this with you okay, okay yeah thank you. i yeah. appreciate you thank you yes. yeah thank you so much yeah. thank, thank you, you.